से कालिदास वॉज ए क्लासिकल संस्कृत ऑथर हिज प्लेज एंड पोएट्री आर प्राइमरली बेस्ड ऑन द वेदास His surviving works consist of three plays, two epic poems, and two shorter poems. So the poem which we are going to study today, the autumn, is written by the this great poet, a uh, Mahakavi Kalidas, and the this poem has been translated into English by the Sanskrit professor Arthur William Ryder, a uh, A W Ryder. Now let's see about the translators. so this person is the translator and his name is arthur william ryder who was a professor of sanskrit at the university of california he is best known for translating a number of sanskrit works into english including the panchatantra and the bhagavad gita okay so we have seen about the poet kalidas then we have seen the same poem has been translated into english by the great by the professor of sanskrit arthur william ryder now we will start with our poem okay now see students there are some changes are there in nature according to the seasons means in summer see what happens in summer season the migratory bird, migratory birds which are they they return back to their home the sun shines brighter than before then uh, many trees are blossom uh, these changes we see in the summer season what do we see in the winter season that humidity levels decrease then we see fog in the morning okay then what happens the nights are nights becomes longer and the days are shorter so these changes we see in the summer season what do we see in the monsoon season the new grass has sprouted up the monsoon season is going on the rain season is there everywhere we can see the greenery uh, the new grass has been sprouts then there is a fresh smell on wet earth then the there are sudden showers and hail storms are there okay so different different changes we see in the seasons of the nature we see the beauty of the nature uh, same way in this poem here we are going to learn the what changes are there in the autumn season okay now see according to indian calendar there are six seasons are there which are there six season first one is vasant then next one is grishma varsha sharad hemant and shishir and the sharad ritu is equal to the autumn season okay now let's see the poem autumn written by the kalidas now we see the first the introduction of the poem autumn now what is there in this poem in this poem the poet considers autumn to be a young beautiful girl ha uh, the season autumn has been compared to the young beautiful girl and the girl who charms a young man's heart ha uh, this girl attracts a young man's heart and how that girl is there the beautiful girl is there she is slender and graceful and the rice stems decorates her decorates her hair and lilies adorn her face she wears the dress of grass she is greeted by the bird which sounds like the tinkling of the bracelets and now this autumn has been personified the figure of speech which figure of speech is yeah, used in this poem personification uh, figure of speech is used which is compared to the autumn season it is compared to one of the beautiful girl and there are beautiful images of nature are there in this poem okay now first i will read out the poem for you
see the poem see the autumn comes a maiden fair in slenderness and grace and uh, what is mean by a maiden fair a maiden fair means young beautiful girl with nodding rice stems in her hair and lilies in her face in flowers of grasses she is clad and as she moves along birds greet her with queen glad like a bracelet tinkling song a diadem adorns the night of multitudinous stars her silken robe is white moonlight set free from cloudy bars and on her face the radiant moon bewitching smiles are shown she seems a slender maid who soon will be a woman grown now what is the meaning of a maiden fair a maiden fair means young beautiful girl in slenderness what is the meaning of slender slender means slim okay then queen queen means what to make a soft low sound then diadem what is the meaning of diadem the crown then multitudinous multitudinous means number of stars robe silken robe robe means dress and be witching means to attract and interest somebody and let's see the explanation of the poem see the autumn comes a maiden fair in slenderness and grace with nodding rice stems in her hair and lilies in her face now hmm? see the autumn comes a maiden fair maiden fair means the autumn comes like a young beautiful girl a maiden fair young beautiful girl in slenderness and grace slenderness the meaning of slenderness is slender means slim with nodding rice stems in her hair and lilies in her face i see the autumn season which comes after monsoon season the monsoon season is going on after this monsoon season which season is going to come the autumn season and the autumn season is season is going to come in india and this season is very pleasant this is one of the happy season the and this beauty has described in this poem and the autumn has compared to a young beautiful girl to a woman and this autumn girl just beautified due to the decoration of the rice stems so you see in the image you can see the picture of rice stems so the beautiful picture of rice stems you can see uh, i will show you See, this is the picture of the rice stems. Okay, as so, the autumn is compared to a girl, and it describes his beauty. And the autumn comes like a maiden fair. How the autumn season is coming? It comes the autumn season coming means the season has arrived like a beautiful young girl. And how is that girl? The girl is very slender. Now it is she is very slim, and she comes with gracefully, very smoothly. She comes, and she. enters how the season has arrived season enters like a young beautiful girl a young lady and how, what she is doing now she has swaying rice stems in her hair now uh, see you can see the crops of rice and uh, it is the rice has ripened it is it is harvested and it is ready to cut it uh, and when the wind comes it nods his hair no uh, see that she has swaying rice stems in her hair and lilies in her face means the rice is harvest is harvest and is ready to cut yeah, it is ripen and see the rice stems are nodding uh, see the rice stems are how they are nodding uh, means it has compared the poet has compared these rice stems to a girl's hair and on and in the season the lilies are bloom the flowers are bloom okay 
So what do you have seen in the first four lines? That the autumn season has arrived. How the autumn season has arrived? Like a maiden fair, like a beautiful young lady. And how that girl is there? She is very slim. Huh? And she comes very smoothly, gracefully. She enters like a young lady. Uh, and uh, she is nodding her hair like a rice stems. Hmm? Now see, the now means the rice is harvested. Now in the autumn season, rice will be ready. Uh, it is ready to cut. It has ripened. And how it, these steps are nodding. It's like a girl's, how the girl's hairs are nodding in the same way the rice steps are nodding. Now see the next four lines. See, in flowers of grasses, she is clad. Clad means she is wearing a particular type of clothing. And as she moves along, birds greet her with their queen glad. Huh? Queen means what? To make a soft, low sound. Like a bracelet's tinkling song. Now see, now in monsoon season, everywhere there is greenery. If you now, when we see in our surrounding area, everywhere there is greenery. Yeah? Now, and as the autumn season arrives, the flowers bloom on the grass. Yeah? You see in the picture, the flowers bloom on the grass. And it seems that she is dressed in the flowers of grasses. And as she moves along, the birds greet her gladly with their queen. And the, the queen sounds like the tinkling song of a bracelet. Huh? I mean, the birds are welcoming the autumn season. And their chirping sound, the birds chirping sound which is there. Huh? The, uh, the queen sound which is there. It feels as if it is the bracelet's tinkling sound. I mean, see, the, uh, the girls are wearing a bracelet in their hand. And how the bracelet uh, sound is coming, a uh, soft, clear sound is coming. Tinkling means the soft, clear sound. In the same way, the, when the birds are chirping, uh, when the birds are cooing, uh, it feels as if the bracelet tinkling sound is there. Uh, the girls which wore the bracelets in their hand. And here also, see now the comparison is there. The bird sound is compared to the bracelet stinking sound. And we feel very pleasure. And the pleasure feeling is there of this season. Let's see, now what we have seen in the next four lines that after the monsoon season, autumn season has arrived and the flowers are blossoms on the grass. And the birds are welcoming that season by a chirping sound. She, and it feels, the poet feels as if the bracelet tinkling sound is there. Huh? Like a girl which wears a bracelet in their hand. The soft clear sound is there. Hmm? And here the personification is used again. The word sound is compared to a bracelet tinkling sound. And the pleasure feeling is there. Okay. Now see the next four lines. A diadem adorns the night of multitudinous stars. Her silken robe is white moonlight set free from cloudy bars. Now a diadem, a diadem means the crown. Uh, adorns the night of multitudinous star. Multitudinous means uh, innumerable stars, lot of stars. A silken robe is white moonlight. Robe, what is their robe means? Dress. Set free from cloudy bars. Huh? Now in the autumn season, at the time of night, there are number of stars are there. Huh? Innumerable stars are there. Huh? Means as if the poet had described the autumn season has wear a crown. What is there on his head? The crown is there. Now okay, crown means there are lots of stars are there which are twinkling. Huh? And at night, 
what he has wear the silken robe the silken robe is white moonlight a silken robe means as if the autumn season has wear a white dress a white moonlight a silken robe is compared with the white moonlight hmm? as if the girl has wear the white plain dress hmm? and what happens the sky is very free huh? there are no any cloudy bars there are no patches are not, are not seen see in the monsoon season uh, if you observe in the sky we can see the patches of the clouds the dark clouds we can see uh, the patches we can see but in the autumn season there are no patches uh, the cloud is very the sky is very free the sky is very clear hmm? now again here there is a comparison with the beautiful lady uh, that during the night autumn wears a crown of countless stars and the white moonlight forms her silken robe and which appears to be the set free from the patches of cloud uh, and here the, her face is bright and shining moon uh, as here the girl is wearing the crown on his head and she is wearing the white beautiful dress a uh, plain gown plain dress and her face is very bright uh, she is looking very slim and beautiful girl uh, she means who the again the girl has been the season has been compared with the uh, beautiful girl okay the next c see and on her face the radiant moon bewitching smiles are shown what is the meaning of bewitching bewitching means to attract and interest somebody she seems a slender maid who soon will be a woman grown huh? now on his face on the autumn season face there is a radiant light huh? the shine is there huh? how the girl's face is shining huh? how the girl the girl is looking very bright so uh, the girl is giving attractive smile in the autumn season is smiling over here and there is a very the sky is very clear and there is very brightness is there and see the girl is attracting the man and she is charming the man's heart so again here the autumn season is attracting for the tourist when the tourist comes in the autumn season the people here attract by the nature by looking the beauty of the nature again the autumn season is compared like a delicate girl okay uh, who is a very slim girl now what happens see she slims a slender maid who soon will be a woman grown uh, now this delicate girl is going to be changed into a grown woman means what as time passes uh, as time goes the autumn season will come to an end and next season will arrive huh? what will happen the next season will arrive over there means as uh, when the girl will uh, the girl is going to be changed into an our woman into a adult hmm? so what do you see in this stanza that there is the girl is giving a attractive smile hmm? means the sky is very clear the brightness is there and the the beauty of the nature which is there in the autumn season the people are attracting towards it the tourists are attracting towards it and this delicate girl this slim girl is slowly turning to the woman and is that as the autumn season passes the season will end and the next season will arrive okay now what we have seen in this poem a very small beautiful poem is there uh, only two stanzas are there okay now what we see in this poem that the poet says that the autumn season has arrived uh, how the autumn season has arrived like a maiden girl uh, like a slender uh, uh, says uh, slender fair and graceful maiden and she has swaying rice stems in her hair and lilies are there in her face and how she is dressed she is dressed in the flowers of 
grasses mean the beautiful flowers have bloom in the autumn season and as she moves along what happened the birds greet her gladly with their cooing sound the birds are chirping they are welcoming the season autumn and this sounds is compared to the tinkling song of a bracelet uh, the, with the girls which uh, wears a bracelet in the hands and now in this uh, during the night in the autumn season it wears a crown of countless stars uh, countless stars are there uh, so many stars are there in the sky uh, as if the girl has wear a crown in his head and the white moonlight forms her silken robe which appears to be set free from the patches of cloud there are no patches of clouds are there huh? the sky is very clear and her face is the bright and shiny moon and she smiles in a bewitching manner and she the slowly the delicate girl the beautiful girl the slim girl is turning towards the woman she is going to be turned into a uh, adult huh? means the autumn season is going to come to an end and the next season is going to be arrived okay so this beautiful poem we have seen over here huh? now what we have seen now in this poem that the cooing of birds is compared to the tinkling song of a bracelet and at at night the autumn wears a twinkling cloud huh? means which is the countless stars are there and her robe a huh? robe means dress of silk is the white moonlight and it is set from the cloudy patches and autumn what is autumn season is said autumn season is said to be the slender and graceful and she has adorned herself she has wear herself she means who the autumn season has wear herself by having rice stems in her hair and lilies in her face and she is dressed in the flowers of grasses and hence the poet has called the autumn season as a maiden fair as a beautiful girl hmm you see now uh, autumn season is going to come huh? and the harvest of the rice crop is just over at the beginning of the autumn and and the poet has compared the maiden autumn uh, maiden into autumn and she is wearing a rice stems in her hair okay so this was a beautiful poem which we have seen uh, again i am uh, i will tell you that what we have seen in this poem that the autumn season comes after monsoon season in india and the, it is a very happy season it is a very beautiful season and the beauty has been described in this poem by comparing to a young beautiful girl hmm? then it arrives like a maiden girl and how is the autumn season it is very slim over year and when the monsoon season gets over uh, there after in the autumn season there are flowers are bloom on a grass the birds are welcoming by the chirping sound as if the bracelets tinkling sound and the autumn season is wearing a crown in his, uh, on his head there are number of stars are there in the sky and in the night it seems as we uh, we are a silken robe as if the girl is wearing a white beautiful dress uh, it is a, there is a white moonlight over there and the sky is free there are no patches are there very clear is that the lady is looking very beautiful she is giving the attractive smile so how the girl when the man attracts to a girl by seeing her beauty by seeing her beauty in the same way the by, by the autumn season the tourists are attracted by the by seeing the beauty of the nature and as the time passes the autumn season has came to an end and the next season is going to be arrived so what we have seen in this poem now this we have seen first about the poet it is written by the poet kalidas the great sanskrit poet then it has been translated into english by the by the professor arthur william ryder then we have seen what we have seen that in different uh, seasons there are changes are there in nature 
then we are saying how many seasons are there in india the total six seasons are there in india and sharad ritu which is there this compared to is equal to autumn season okay now see uh, the year personification figure of speech is uh, used uh, the autumn season has been personified and there are beautiful images of nature is there in this poem okay then meanings we have seen what is the meaning of meaning of slender slender means slim uh, nodding nodding means swaying uh, moving gently clad means dress uh, to wear a beautiful dress diadem means a jewel crown multitudinous means countless stars bars cloudy bars patches and be witching means to attracting someone by giving a smile over here Now hmm? uh, see uh, which are the rhyming words are there in this poem uh, see the rhyming words is fair and hair uh, clad and glad then night and moonlight okay shown and uh, grown these are the rhyming words are there in the poem now what is the uh, which is the so rhyme scheme is there ha huh? a b a b ha huh? this is the rhyme scheme which is there in this poem now why is autumn called a maiden fair the question is there see why is autumn called a maiden fair okay because it is compared to a beautiful girl the autumn is coming like a, it arrives like a beautiful girl then what is the cooing of birds compared to now the cooing of birds is compared to a the tinkling song of breastlet then how does autumn dress up at night at night the autumn wears a tinkling a twinkling crown which is made of a countless stars and her robe of silk is white moonlight which is set free from the cloudy patches now autumn is said to be a slender and graceful okay and she has adorned herself by having rice stems in her hair and lilies in her face and that's why she is dressed in a flowers of grasses and that's why she is called a maiden of fair and hmm? next see uh, the birds enjoy the cool autumn huh? the birds are enjoying the cool autumn after the hot summer and why they are enjoying now they may also get more grains and seeds to eat because the crops are ripened uh, the crops are ready to cut and the birds are happy because they will get a uh, more grains and seeds to eat over year now see uh, your two most figure of speech are used in this poem next uh, one more is simile which is used see see the line uh, the birds greet her with their cooing glad huh? this is the figure of speech is simile is used in this figure of speech then next line is like a bracelet twinkling song again here the figure of speech uh, simile is used then one more figure of speech is used metaphor uh, the autumn comes a maiden fair uh, here the metaphor figure of speech is used then uh, alliteration is also used in this uh, line we will see see she she slims a slender maid huh, who soon will be a woman grown uh, see she slims a slender maid huh? again the sound of s is uh, repetition of letter s is there so here alliteration figure of speech are also used huh? so we how many figures of speech are used in this poem personification simile metaphor and alliteration okay 
and we have seen the rhyming words also of this poem that fair and hair are the rhyming words grace and face glad and glad long along and song night and moonlight hmm? then moon and uh, soon shown and grown now what is the rhyme scheme of this poem is a b a b uh, c d c d this is the rhyme scheme of the poem is then so when we will uh, write the appreciation of this poem uh, first what will that the appreciation the title will be autumn written by the poet kalidas and translated into english by professor a w rider what is the rhyme scheme is there a b a b c d c d and what which are the figures of speech are there here personification simile metaphor and alliteration and what is the theme is there huh? what is the theme is there here the central idea what is there the poet has lovingly and very beautifully the poet has described the advent of the autumn season the arrival of the autumn season and autumn season has compared to a slender and graceful maiden and who has adorned herself in various ways and the poet poem is enchanting because of the imagery and the beautiful and the imaginative description of autumn is used it here we see the imagination of the poet and autumn is personified uh, in the ent uh, entire poem and compared to a slender and graceful maiden okay see uh, here the autumn means a maiden fair means a beautiful girl stars how are the stars are there multitudinous means new number of stars are there countless stars are there huh? how is the moonlight white moonlight is there silvery moonlight is there how is the cooing of the birds like a bracelet twinkling is there huh? means a musical sound is there okay so see this we are studied here very beautiful poem over here huh? this is the short and the beautiful poem written by the kalidas okay anyone wants to ask any question yes students